Oh uh, yeah, he came out. He came out tonight, ready to play, and I told him to uh, work on his jump shot uh, because he's gonna get a lot of playing time. And he came out, hit two big threes in the beginning of the game. But uh, other than that, he had great energy. He was good tonight. I liked him. Bear, did you feel confident tonight? Uh, I mean, I was more excited than anything just to be able to come back and play with my brothers. You know, so I was just focused on going out there and playing as hard as I can. And then I was ready to shoot and. They went in, but uh, I feel like the energy was there tonight. I feel like we, as a team, played together. We played hard, um, but we fell short in the end. Eric, what's the process been like coming back from this injury? Uh, kind of day to day. Um, it's been a, it's been a. I've been really anxious to get back, but um, I've just been resting and trying to make sure I do everything possible to make sure my body right. That's it, though. Coach told us a couple months ago he thought he might be out the rest of the season. Was there a time that you kind of realized that, that you could come back this year? Yeah, I started to have less and less pain, and like I could move around a lot more without a lot of pain. And it was just getting my back was getting better in general. So I told Coach I could play right now, and he got me into practices. So it was it was pretty smooth getting back into it though. What kind of things do you want to add to this team? I mean, this energy, this loose balls. I mean, this all the little stuff that it takes like. All the little things that you need on a championship winning team, like you need to have those things by somebody. And if no one's going to do it, then I ain't got no problem doing it. So that's why I, I take pride in that stuff. The little, the little things, the defense, just being tough and just being as disruptive as the, on defense as possible. That's all. Monte, how much has, has Merrick's return really added to your all's depth? Added the different different rotations, coach. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, um, it added a lot. I mean, he's another energy guy and another leader. Uh, Josh is uh, usually our energy guy, but now we got two energy guys that can get out and give us some dunks and stuff like that. So uh, I think it's real great that we got him back, and we're happy to have him back. Monte, I, I thought you guys were defending Jackson, number two, yeah. so well, so well. And so they're thinking, I hope he doesn't get it going. I hope he yeah. doesn't get going. And my gosh. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's one of those guys that's, that he shoots enough, he's going to get going. And once he's going, it's kind of hard to stop him. But uh, you got to give uh, the whole team credit. They were good tonight, and um, they came out with the win. Merrick, when you look at the box score, what, what kind of jumps out to you? Is this reasons, you know, things that you guys could have done better today? Ooh, that's a tough question. I didn't really get a chance to look at it. But uh, I don't know. I feel like we, as a, in general, we just coach at it after the game. Like the last few games, we've been – really executing well and really being real efficient on offense and on defense as the game goes on. And that's why we've been able to close a lot of games out. Um, and like he said, I think we just fell short. We didn't make the plays down the stretch that we needed to. Um, like Monte said, credit to them. They got they got almost every 50-50 ball tonight. They wanted it more than we did. Um, and they did, what it had to, they did what they had to do to come in at the, our place and get it up. So. Monte, it's like one of those nights where, you know, Guys couldn't get hold of the ball. Ball's bouncing around. You know, people might be just like a half step out of place. Yeah. It's like one of those nights where. Yeah. Could get everything to go right the, the way you wanted it to. Um, I mean, like I said, they I can't say that because they they were a good team. And they we can give them great credit, but um, I mean, we did miss a few shots that we should have hit. Um, a couple of the guys didn't shoot that well, but I mean, at the end of the day, I think we're fine. We'll be okay. Monte, obviously, the second part of the season starts. Is it? Do you think do you remember what happened tonight as motivation, or do you flush it and say we're 0 0 now? Um, now we're on oh. I mean, in a way, you do think about it because your last game you lost, so you want to come out and win your next. But now it's win and go home. So now you have to have a different mentality. But uh, we 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 do look back at this game, but then again, we don't. We're back to work again. Eric, you guys have like an eight day layoff between now and your next game. How do you all stay fresh, stay focused, you know, stay in that mindset to, to come out strong? Well, I need every every day, especially I need all the eight days. Um, but now we'll be locked in. I mean. Our young guys don't really know it yet, but when it comes around to tournament time, it's a real 40-minute game. we got to take every minute as serious as it is the last one. And so I think we're going to work on that during practice, make sure our bodies are right going down to Texas. Um, I mean, we're excited because we know at the end of the day, someone's got to beat us on a win-or-go-home situation. And there's we got confidence that we'll be able to you know, do what we got to do to bring it home. Monte, what's the message you give to some of these younger guys who've never played in a tournament setting before? Um, just come out and have fun. I mean, but at the same time, play hard. I mean, it's going to be a great atmosphere. We're going to have a great crowd. They're going to have a great crowd. It's going to be their first some of their first experience. So I just tell them to go out, have fun, and play hard. <laughs> Um, 
Oh, it was great. It still was great. Um, we had a great crowd tonight. Uh, everybody, the crowd was in it. And uh, I think our team played pretty hard for the most part, so you can't be mad at them for that. But um, it was a good senior night, even though we lost. And I uh, appreciate everybody for that. Merrick, that announced earlier that this is, with tonight's crowd, it was the highest attendance you guys have had in a season in, I think, the last 15 or 20 years. Just how appreciative are you for the fans and the crowds that you guys have had all season? I mean, I can speak for the whole team. It means everything to us. I mean, y'all. There's obviously a, a difference between playing at home and playing on the road, but whenever you got the, whenever you know your whole city's behind behind us, and they know that they're going to show up, I mean that just adds to our motivation for sure. And we're extremely grateful for our fans. I mean we love them to death because they know, they know, and we know how much they do for us day to day. So.